Hello, good day everyone. This is my first video lesson or tutorial. Here, I'm going to discuss the basic MS Excel. So meaning, this is for beginners. So if you haven't used or not familiar with MS Excel, this video is for you. And please, don't forget to be patient as you watch this video. I'll be discussing some little details that I think is important for you to understand. Okay? Now, let us look at the MS Excel window. This is the MS Excel window. First, let's look at the tab. This is the Home tab, Insert tab. And in each tab has ribbons. These are the ribbons for Insert tab, Page Layout tab. Here is the ribbons for that tab, and so on. Next is the columns, are the columns and rows. The vertical part is what we call the column, the column A, column B, column C, column D, and so on. Here we have the row 1, row 2, row 3, and uh, so on as well. So the intersection between this column and row is what we call cell. So this box or these boxes is what we call cell. For each cell, like this one, you can find the name of it at the name box, like this one, column B, row 1. B1. Here in column C, let's say I click here, it is from column C, row 2, that is C2. So wherever you click your, um, or each, uh, what, whatever cell you click, it will change the name to its proper or exact location. Now, the selected cell is called cell active. In this case, we, the cell active is B4. And this is where your data will be placed or stored when you type. So if I click here in B4, if I type something like, for example, Jose, uh, Jose, Jose, there, the data for that one is will be in B4 or stored in B4. Okay, I'll erase this for a while. So in each data you type, it can be either text, number, or formula. Let me explain to you the difference between the three. The MS Excel will consider your data, uh, the data you entered or typed um, as text when it's, it is composed of letters like this one, letters, um, words like um, hi, or letters with number like A, B, C, one, two, three. The Microsoft Excel will consider this as text and it is not or it cannot be used for computation. While data, data that is composed of any number in any format will be considered number, and it means you can use it for any computation. When I say number in any format, it's like, for example, I type here um, 99, I have 8%, I have 8.5, let's see, eight and one half and 3.7. These are numbers in different format and uh, Microsoft Excel will can use that, you can use that for computation. Unlike the text, this one cannot be used for computation. Now, let us move with the formula. Let me erase this first. First thing uh, you need to type when you are going to make a formula is the equal sign. If you will notice, the name box changes, this name box changes from cell address to function name. And in this case, uh, my function name is rank. In your computer, it might be different, so don't worry about it. So because uh, the recent use function will be um, the one you will be seeing seeing here in the name box. To make it more clearer, I think uh, let's have some examples. Okay, let's say I want item here or items. We have the price for that item, quantity, how many you're going, oops, sorry for that, quantity, and the total price. The items I want to buy are the pencil, pen, pencil, and eraser. Let's say, for example, this one is worth 
15 pesos, 10 pesos, and let's say 5 pesos. Now I don't have a peso sign here, so if you want to have a symbol for that currency, all you need to do is click the home tab. Under the format number, you will have there the general, so just click the drop down and choose currency. In my Microsoft Excel, I have a default value, the default symbol for the currency in my computer is the peso sign. So if you want to change that into a dollar sign, all you need to do is right click this one, format cells, under the currency, you will see the symbol, just click the drop down and look for the dollar sign. So right now, uh, it doesn't matter, so if I'm going to click the Australian dollar, it doesn't matter what kind of dollar you're going to click so we're just looking for the symbol but if you want to be specific uh, with this one like for example not the symbol then you will have the like for example if you want it to be US dollar you need to have the USD in peso if you want it to be specific to be a Philippine currency then you need to have the PHP so I'm going to do that right now so again right right click the cell click format cells and then still under the currency symbol for example I want it to become Philippine peso so I'll, all I need to do is click the letter P since it's it's alphabetically arranged so you if you press pre uh, press P you will proceed or you will go to the first uh, currency that starts with letter P. In this case, it's uh, I don't know what currency is this PAB, but in the Philippines we have the PHP Philippine Peso. So if I'm going to click that, then you will notice. I click OK. You will notice that I will have here the PHP symbol or the sign. Now, look at the formula bar. I have here the PHP symbol, but I don't have that here in my formula bar. What does it mean? What does it indicates? It in, uh, it's saying that this one is um, being read by the Microsoft Excel as the uh, as number, not as a text. Because if you will see here the PHP um, symbol, it means to say that you just type the PHP and then the number, and the computer or the Microsoft Excel will not consider that consider that as number. So you cannot use that as a uh, for computation rather okay so I'll try to do that so I'm going to type here the PHP PHP space let's say for example well, how much is this pencil 5 pesos 5.00 for the cents if I press enter um, you will notice if I I'm going to click this one you will notice that there's a PHP here while this one you don't have the PHP symbol so it means to say this one is being considered as number and this one is being considered as text so how uh, are we going to know that so for example I'm going to add these two equals 15 pesos plus 5 pesos is equal to number value so what does it mean when you have the number value it means to say there's a problem with the computation there's a number that has probably no value or it's not a number at all it's a text in this case so if I'm going to change this one into just simple 5 pesos for example 5 you will see that 15 plus 5 that is 20 now I have the symbol of PHP because of this one so in Microsoft Excel if there's a symbol that uh, you use in any of the data and then you use it for formula most of the time it's just copying the first um, the first cell or yes the first cell that you used in adding multiplying or creating a formula so in this case again this one okay so I'm going to delete this one I hope that's clear that this one is PHP considered as number and the one I type it will be considered as text so you're not supposed to do that if you want to use it for computation now uh, I think this one is 10 pesos right okay so uh, to make it easier or faster just highlight if you want to include that again these are in um, in currency just highlight all of the numbers with currency just right click 
format cells and then click for click the currency and then again click this one for drop down and just press letter P I want or oh, if you want them to have all the PHP just click OK and then you will have it the PHP symbol here so again it depends on the currency that you are going to use so in this case again I just use the PHP now for the quantity let's say I want to buy five of this one three of this one and two of this one now how to compute for the total price just click again equals this one multiply by this one and then press enter then you will have 75 pesos for this one okay now to make it easier or faster just click this one it will uh, if I click this one and drag here it will just copy the formula here to this here and here so it means to say it will have like this one it will have the same uh, uh, format or formula but it's moving from uh, B2 to C2 this one will become B3 to C3 and this one will become um, C4 a B4 to C4 so again I'm going to delete that click this one click and drag so you will have the total price now for the amount due notice that this one is overlapping the other column which is the column D so if you want to fix that just double click this one and then it will just um, adjust by itself to the uh, exact uh, size of the longest text in this case not the quantity but the amount due okay now what is the amount due all about so um, to have uh, the tot uh, the amount due all we need to do is just add all the total price this one so add this one this one and this one so there are so many ways so one way is equals click this one plus this one plus this one and then you will have the answer now the faster way of doing that for example you have so many items it's so difficult or it will take you long to click um, d2 plus d3 plus d4 plus d5 and so on and so forth so it will take you long but to make it uh, easier just click sum and click equals type sum open parenthesis and highlight then close parenthesis sum meaning the answer for addition so we're just going to add a three then that's why i use the word sum it's in uh, in excel there is a function what you call sum okay so i'm just going to press enter and then you will have the answer now the fastest is i'm going to delete that is just go here click the auto sum you're under home tab click the auto sum it will be highlighted and then just press enter okay so that's the fastest way in computing or adding a number in the same column okay so cash uh, let's say you have 200 pesos all you need to do is type that one there's no formula for this one and then for the change let's compute for the change so click um, equals press equal sign your peso or your cash subtract it to the amount due and then you will have this one the answer so it means to say uh, you have 85 pesos change from your 200 pesos cash okay so I think that's all for today and um, I hope you learned something and if you think this video is helpful for you for students and or teachers please share and please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching